Holocaust survivor and Nobel Peace Prize laureate Elie Wiesel implored us that to forget the dead would be akin to killing them a second time. Yet here we are today, 77 years after the darkest of chapters in human history, and Jew hatred is explosively on the rise while the number of survivors is dwindling amongst us. Soon, in the blink of an eye, we'll be left with a monumental task of having to combat anti-Semitism and educate about the Holocaust without survivors to testify in person about the unimaginable horrors which they experienced. We must never forget that the Holocaust did not begin in Auschwitz. That is where the road of life ended for so many of our people. Rather, it began with words, with the demonization of one group and one group of people, the Jews, first by indifference and then ultimately through the Nazi infrastructure of death. Today, as we look at the world around us, Jews are again being assaulted in broad daylight. Synagogues are being firebombed. Jewish cemeteries are being desecrated. Swastikas are commonplace. While calls to boycott the Jewish people are being replaced with calls to boycott the one and only Jewish state. Meantime, Holocaust denial, distortion and trivialization is proliferating at an alarming pace. I'm going to be forgiven for asking what, if anything, have we learned from history? There are some for whom the phrase never again is no more than empty slogan. But remembrance, while imperative and necessary and demanded, is not enough on its own. We must also speak out. We must also act. We can never remain indifferent in the face of hatred, bigotry and anti-Semitism against both the Jewish people and the Jewish nation. Soon there will be no more survivors amongst us. The numbers are dwindling, but we must never let their memories fade. Now more than ever, we must embrace them. We must listen to them. We must learn from them. Elie Wiesel said that whoever listens to witness becomes a witness. We must all become witnesses. Thank you.